How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own mirror frame. All right guys, now you might have seen in a recent video, we've been working on our bathroom here in the shop. We've got our fixtures in, we've built some shelves on the wall, but now we need a mirror to hang above our sink. So what I have is a piece of bare mirror and some of this old pine wall paneling that came out of an old building that we were renovating for my wife's business. Now, I don't know exactly how old this is, but it was held onto the wall with some of those old style cut nails, which was pretty cool. I really like the design that's cut into it, and I think we're gonna be able to use that to make a nice looking frame for our mirror in the bathroom. Now, I'm gonna take you step by step on how to do this. I'm also gonna be giving you links in the description below to everything we're using in this project. But first, guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. That helps us out. Now let's get to work and I'll show you how to build your own custom mirror frame. Now, since this is very old wall paneling that was basically just ripped off the wall, we do have a lot of bad spots in the wood. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and identify those, and we're gonna take them over to the miter saw and cut out all the good usable wood that we can use for our frame. Now you need to identify the thickness that you want for your frame. For mine, I'm going three inches wide. So we're gonna be ripping these down on the table saw, keeping the edge with the design on it for the use on our frame. Now we're ready to go ahead and measure and cut these down to size. For our frame, we're gonna be doing 45 degree corners. You don't have to do it this way, but over at our miter saw, we're gonna go ahead and move this to the 45 degree angle and then go ahead and cut one edge of our board to 45 degrees. Now, as you're doing this, you need to be thinking about the size of the mirror that you're using. The mirror that I have is 20 by 24 inches and I'm gonna want some overlap on the back of the frame. So I'm gonna be making the inside dimensions of my frame one inch smaller than the dimension of the mirror itself. So we're gonna go ahead and measure and mark our inside edge to 19 inches or 23 inches accordingly. This will make more sense to you in just a minute. Once I have all four sides cut, I'm gonna take them over to the tabletop and just kind of test fit them together and see what my miter joints look like and it's looking pretty good, so we're ready to move on to the next step. Now there are several ways you can join these corners together, but what I'm gonna be doing is using my Win biscuit joiner and some wood glue. So I need to take each of my boards, I need to measure and mark out the center on each end of the board so I can cut the hole for my biscuits exactly where they need to go. Now this is actually my first time using a biscuit joiner and it's not that complicated, just line up with my mark, push into the board and it makes a perfect cut in the end to accept our biscuits. This is gonna be a great way to join these. It's gonna make a very strong joint and I don't have to use any type of fasteners. Next, I'm gonna cut out a groove on the back side of my frame for my mirror to sit into. So to do this, I'm gonna set up my router table with a 5 8 inch straight bit with a height of about an eighth of an inch. Then I'm gonna run these boards through the router table on the back of the inside edge and cut a half inch groove along those inside edges. And that's gonna give me the perfect spot for our mirror to fit into. Does it fit? Yep. It's perfect. 
once I have those cut, my little helper is gonna help me with the wood glue and sticking the biscuits down into the holes where they need to go. And then we'll push each section of frame together and clamp it into place so it can dry. All right guys, so we got the clamps off and this is what we got. I think it is looking pretty nice. Um, now I will admit I did not have perfect miter joints here, uh, but that can easily be fixed with a little bit of wood filler. And one trick for that, if you want to try to match the color of your wood with your wood filler, you can just use some sawdust from the project, mix that with a little wood glue and rub that in there. That's actually what I did and I got some pretty nice results from it. It'll fill any small gaps you have. And ultimately I'm gonna be painting this frame so it's not gonna to matter too much anyway. All right guys, you can see my joint here and it is not perfect by any means, but any imperfection that is there is not noticeable at all, especially since we're gonna be painting this frame anyway. All right, guys, now you can see we have our half inch groove that we routed in all the way around this frame. That is where our mirror is gonna sit into. And we're gonna go ahead and test fit that mirror into the frame before we put our finish on. All right, it sits in there perfectly. It's inset just a little bit from the back of our frame, which is exactly what we want. Now let's get this out of here and we'll get to painting this frame. All right guys, now this reclaimed wall paneling that we used for this frame obviously already has some type of finish on it, but I'm not gonna do anything to that. I'm not gonna try to get that off or sand it off or anything like that. What we're gonna be doing here, just like a lot of our projects, this is gonna have a little bit of a rustic look to it. So for this project, we're gonna be dry brushing on some black paint. Once that's had time to dry, we're gonna go back and lightly sand it to bring back some of this wood color in the high areas and in certain spots to give it a little bit of a worn and weathered look. So let's get to it. All right guys, now that our paint's had time to dry, I'm gonna take some 120 grit sandpaper on my sanding block here. And I'm just gonna very lightly sand away at some of the high edges on the frame just to take off a little bit of that black paint and expose some of the wood underneath. I'm just doing this semi-randomly, pretty much hitting all the high spots um, and then going back and roughing it up in a couple other strategic areas just to give it a nice weathered and worn look. Now I don't want to go overboard here because I do still want the frame to be mostly black but again I'm just kind of taking it, taking it off and just weathering it or roughing it up in certain areas. I think that looks pretty good. Let me get you guys in here and give you a closer look. So again, the frame is mostly black, but we've got that nice weathered, rustic look to it. We went back and we just kind of hit it with that sander in all the right places. And I think the result is really nice looking. All right, guys, now we're ready to set our mirror in here. So what we need to do is just go ahead and flip it over. And you can see we have our half inch groove all the way around. Now, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm actually just gonna glue the mirror into place. Now you could do this with just about any type of glue, construction adhesive, super glue, really anything. But what I'm gonna be using for this is just some of this clear no foam Gorilla Glue. I'm just gonna put a thin bead all the way down my groove here. Enough that's gonna hold it, but it's not going to squish out the edges. All right, then I'm just gonna take my mirror and go ahead and drop it down into place.
And then I think I'm also just going to go ahead and set a couple boards here just to help weight it down while that glue dries. All right guys, now our glue has had time to dry and that should be more than enough to hold this mirror in. But if you are concerned, you could always go in and put some glazing push points or just run you some frame tape around the outside. But now we need a way to hang this on the wall. We're just gonna be using some standard picture hanging wire and some of these little eye screws. Now we'll give the mirror a quick cleaning and then we'll hang her on the wall. Now I'm gonna measure and mark the location where I want our mirror to hang. All right, now the moment of truth. Let's see how it looks. Not bad at all. That's it for how to make your own mirror frame, guys. Hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, make sure you let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to use our links in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Oh, Daddy, you did a good job. Thanks, man. You're the best girl ever.